Happy Thanksgiving. I am really excited to share a beautiful tabletop setting with you guys. You know, Thanksgiving, as it has so many amazing traditions that, you know, we love to sink our teeth into as well. Um, there are also little twists I like to put into our Thanksgiving, whether it's setting the table or doing a little twist in my cranberry sauce or that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be fun today to share with you just some really a beautiful tabletop idea. Take away from it what you will, but it's always fun to be able to play with the tabletop. It's always one of my first places to go to. You know, it's like my time to be able to dance around a little bit. You know, I always do traditional things like the turkey and all that, but this is so much fun. You know, it's my time to play around. So you can see on this beautiful table, I'm actually on our porch because we've been having such beautifully warm weather in Wisconsin, amazingly. So I thought it'd be great to take advantage of it and do this outside. So if you live somewhere where you can actually celebrate Thanksgiving on your porch, oh, that sounds so good, doesn't it? To do Thanksgiving out of fresco would be amazing. We'll probably end up really doing ours inside. But this beautiful table is set up in a way that it's always, um, I always have it so that you can access a buffet because for our family, it just works out a little bit easier. I like to do a beautiful centerpiece and leave the food sort of over here so people can get up and access it. You know, we go up, grab our plate, come and sit down, and it just makes it, you know, prettier for the tabletop and everything. Um, I always put a beautiful piece of textile down. I think for Thanksgiving, it just adds that little layer of warmth. And I don't really stock a whole um, wardrobe full of beautiful tablecloths and things like that. Instead, I kind of look for throws and things that I use all around my house, whether it's on, you know, a chair or a couch or something like this. So this is a throw that I've actually had um, on one of our chairs, and it's just so pretty. It's got this beaded edge. I love the warm, rich colors of it and the way that it sort of brings out the warmth of the season. So, you know, that's a really pretty way to start. And I just throw it on very nonchalantly. Again, nothing too perfect about it. These gorgeous wheat sheaves I've had for literally over 10 years. I got them at a craft store years ago. And then all I do is pop them in those huge plastic bins that I throw down into the basement. But how cool is that? You know, buy it as you go, as I always tell you guys, and then keep it. You know, I've not done anything to these things, but throw them down in the basement in a big bin, and then I pull them out every year. But they're so pretty, and I've used them on the tabletop and on, you know, in different areas like our foyer or on the buffet. They're just, it's a very beautiful element and you know you can keep them out year round if you want. I actually have them set on um, these gorgeous um, I'll show you feather placemats and you know if you're out and about and you see individuals of things you can always buy those too you don't just have to use them for what they're meant so these are so pretty and I actually use them more like this as sort of an anchor for something I just think it adds a really nice touch and you know if I don't want to buy 12 of something if I don't feel like feel like spending the money I'll just buy one or two of something same thing goes for napkins or glasses or anything if you just see one of something that you're just in love with get one and throw it into your mix because you know that's fun too it's your table, you can do it any way you like. I've set the table with Vive, which of course I love because it's already a gorgeous mix and match pattern. And that's what's so playful about it. I love the gorgeous chocolate browns and it has so many pretty autumnal colors along with the pops of pink and the blues and everything. It's just delicious and I think it always draws everyone into the table because it is so interesting. And then I can mix it up with kind of whatever I have. Um, you know, these beautiful filigree glasses are so pretty because they have that pop of gold. You guys know I always love a little bit of sparkle on the table. I just think it's so nice to have the light dance around like that. So anytime you can think of anything to bring onto your table that has a little sparkle, for sure do it. You know, these beautiful candle holders are nice too. They aren't staying lit for you because there's a little wind out here. But you know, they're so pretty and they, I love how they're very vintagey looking and um, I'm so drawn to mercury glass anyway. I just think it's such a pretty, pretty element. So there's some new in here and then there's some old in here and then this gorgeous nature element. I always love any form of nature on a tabletop. You know, this beautiful bowl is so elegant and all I've done is I've gone up to my garden, I've cut these pretty cedar branches, which how killer is this that these are all filled with berries. It looks like I've dusted them myself, which of course I have 
have not, but they're so cool, aren't they? And then I went down to my basement again and pulled out a few little Christmas ornaments, just set them in here and there. Um, I did a very, very simple, simple, elegant little napkin. You know, these are just linen napkins with ribbon, and I went to the herb garden. My herb garden still looks pretty good, but use whatever you have. Of course, this is just savory, and I love, it smells so good and so Thanksgiving-y, and it's just such a pretty little touch, and you know, this is a two-minute deal. I, I don't need to spend hours and hours making my napkin ring holder things. I just don't have the time for it. But this is pretty, and it's something I can do in a snap, or I can have the boys do. So, you know, the most important thing with Thanksgiving, of course, beyond setting a pretty table and serving a beautiful meal, is it's such a great time to be with your family and be thankful for everything that you have. And just, you know, keep that in your heart, and everything else will fall together just beautifully.